Welcome to today's beaver crafting session and today we're going to do paper crafts. So first of all we're going to have a go at making our paper aeroplane and we're going to challenge you all later to see how far you can fly your paper aeroplanes. And then secondly we're going to have a go at fortune tellers or we're going to call them kindness generators. So we're going to have a think about the nice kind of kind messages we can spread around and they look like this. Not quite funky. We'll have a go at making those later. So first of all, what could you need? You're gonna to need today, just for the paper parts, two sheets of A4 paper. So we're gonna set aside one for later. So to start making our paper aeroplanes, you need the whole sheet of A4. Uh, we're gonna fold it in half. really firmly press down your edges so you've got a lovely piece of paper folded in half then you want to unfold it and then you're going to take the top two edges and fold them in and down so you've created a triangle and you're going to do the same the other side so fold it into that center fold that you made don't worry, it doesn't have to be terribly neat, as you'll find on my arm, but just make sure you're really pressing down on those edges to give a really good fold in them. Now, taking your corner here, you see this corner, you're going to fold it in and down to the center line as well. And press down on that edge so you can see. This corner now has come in and over to the centre. And you're going to do the same the other side. Bring your corner in and down to the centre. If your top crumples a little, don't worry too much about it. Just try and keep a nice point there because that's going to be the top of your paper aeroplane. So then, now we have done all of that, we're going to fold our paper head of the plane along that central line. Give every line at this point now a good squeeze, essentially to keep them all nice and compressed together. If you want nice smooth edges, so it looks like this. So this being the bottom here, and this up here is the top of our paper. Taking this corner, you're going to fold it down, it gets a little bit more tricky. So it's in line. You see that bottom line there? Fold it down roughly so it's in line with that. And then again, press really firmly down. Just like that again, again, again. Now, if you turn a paper airplane over, so it looks like this way, so it's in the opposite direction, you do the same again the other side. lift your wings up and there you go one paper aeroplane that is ready to fly in your competition would love here at leatherhead district to, to see all your videos and photographs from today's challenge have a go you can look up online about different paper aeroplane designs this is just a really basic one but also feel free to use that colored paper or you could decorate it and of course again send us your videos of how it goes so I said, said there's two parts to today's paper challenge. First part was our paper aeroplanes. The second part is our fortune teller. Mine currently looks a bit blank, so I've coloured it in. So feel free to grab some colouring pencils and pens at the ready. Scram. And we're going to go through how to make one of these. So using your second sheet of paper, now have a landscape right on to you and then remember that 
For this, we're going to need a square piece of paper and A4 sheets are oh, a rectangle. So, in order to make it a square, grab one of the corners and fold it over. So bring it over to the, one of the other edge. And you can see you're getting, so it looks like you're making a triangle, attempting to make a triangle. But you don't want to fold it corner to corner. You want to just bring it over to the edge. So you've got like a triangle and then a rectangle at the side. Turn it over and then fold the rectangle back in on itself. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. I knew you'd all of this. And then either with scissors or you can gently tear it off that rectangle because that's what's making our paper a bit too big. So, and you can hold on to that later if you want. So you can have another go at making an even smaller one. But now you should have then a triangle. If you open your triangle up, it makes a lovely square piece of paper. Really, it's so you're going to use this centre line to mark and you're going to work from the corners. You're going to fold just the points back in on themselves and get them really pressing down on those edges. So you've done one. You step, turn it around yeah, and then you can bring in the next one as well. Bring it into the centre. Try not to have the two pieces here overlapping because that makes it really difficult when you pop it up at the end into its fold, into its exact shape. So you're going to start to get an envelope shape initially. So admittedly it looks like an envelope. We're going to fold the last one in down. Okay, so the really nice thing about these is there's no real gluing to them at all. They're all just by folding the paper. So now you've made a smaller square. If you turn that square now over, so you've got the blank side with no folds on it, and start and again with the corners, fold them back into the middle on themselves. Again, have a think, making sure just are not crossing over these pieces of paper. There we go. It's literally got me making it a bit look a bit like an envelope all the time. So it gets a bit more difficult the more folds and thicker the paper gets. But again, we're not worrying about being perfect. It's just about having a go. So now you've got a little square piece of paper that is Paint it like this, you'll find a direction at which, so if you try different ways, it will want to fold in half, and that's all you need to do is just now fold it in half, press that edge together, and then those first initial folds we do make these lovely little flaps here and on the other side. Then what you can do is push this up and into the corners. See, mine's already starting to pop out. Go on each of the folds. Don't worry if it does start out. And then what you want to try and do is once you've got your corner in, just try and bring your fingers together in the middle. It might fold a bit fun, funky looking, but that's all right. Soon it goes into shape, and then you can just go around and gently pull out each of the corners, and they work like this. So get in that, open them up. So these are our kindness generators, so and then you can just flatten them back down again, so nice and square. So what we want to have a think about is what we're going to colours we can put on them and to the outside. On these inner parts we're going to write numbers and then we can have a look at what messages also we're going to write on the inside. So let's do that. So 
So I've got my box of fat tips here. Then pens. So I think on the outside of the full flap, turn it over now. You can see you've got your four flaps of where your fingers go. So you put a blob of colour on each one. So I'm use purple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we can see, see each flap folds up and we've got a nice line dividing the two sections in half. And in there we only can write some nice messages to people. So we can write keep smiling. Well done. Make sure mark afterwards. Have a think about what you want to write. Of course, once you've been lots to write, you've got eight different things here. Right, all the way around the outside. Really think about what you could write that's gonna help be positive towards people. So keep smiling, well done, good job. You might also want to tell people that you love them. So, love you on it. You know, anything that you think of. You might want to draw a smiley face as well. So, you can draw a smiley face. You really have a good think about doing. So, there's lots of ideas here. I really want to see them as well. So, again, send us in your photos. Things. Once you've done it, because you've done all the initial folds, it should fold back up quite nicely. And then we can have a look at the real idea here. So again, pushing me as well. This is just an extra tricky part. There we go. See? Oh, I thought mine's cut over. So don't worry. So then you can choose a colour, say green. So you can G R E E N. Choose a number, say five. One, two, three, four, five. Choose another number, say three. And three says keep smiling. Thank you for joining in with the Steve session. We look forward to seeing all your crafting this week and have a go at these paper crafts. They're really simple to do. You can make lots of them in your spare time. And that's it to promote some scouting and some positivity. Thank you.